Super D consists of four things. Everyone knows what a music video is. And everyone knows what new... All programs. up next things that make you go Boston High 1991-92 school year was an eventful, challenging, and unforgettable experience for everyone involved. The year passed by quickly, full of plenty of laughs, good times, and memories. excellence at Falston High School continued under the direction of the dedicated teaching staff. Many different courses were offered at Falston this year. For those who wish to take more challenging classes, certificate of merit, gifted and talented, and advanced placement courses were an option many chose to pursue. Tomorrow's leaders are in Falston's classrooms today. Once again, the class of 1992 displayed their spirit by winning the spirit stick for the fourth year in a row. Spirit week consisted of crazy hair day, clash day, and color day, finishing the week off with a much-awaited pep rally. Boston classrooms are a place for students to broaden their knowledge and engage in class discussions expressing their opinions and views on topics being covered that day in class.
Although it was not one of Boston's strongest seasons, the varsity football team captured the Hallmark Trophy for the second consecutive year. The varsity finished 2-8 and eight, while the JV finished 7-3. and three. team had a very successful season led by a strong team of seniors. Barsi ended the season with 11-1-2 record while JV concluded with a 7-1-3 record. With the varsity soccer team being so young, our record was extremely impressive by displaying a record of 6-7 and seven and a JV record of 7-2-2. Two two. Men's varsity soccer made it to the Maryland State Soccer Championships for the second year in a row, ending up with a 12-3 record, and JV with a strong 11-0-1 record. The boys and girls cross-country teams paced themselves with fleet feet. The boys finished with a 4-6 county record, while the girls were 10-0 and placed second in the county and first in the region. With an abundance of dedication and hard work, the girls volleyball team made regionals and finished the season with 9 wins and 5 losses. The men's varsity volleyball team had a slow start, but ended strong with an eight-win, six-loss season. On Saturday, October 26, 1991, beginning at 7.30, students entered a world full of romance and mystique. Greeted by the music of Front Page, they were slowly taken in by this year's homecoming theme, Mystery of the Orient. The King and Queen, Brian Yeager, and Paige Dixon led the dance to the theme song, Faithfully, by Journey. marching band was led by drum majors Nolan Dever and Jessica Wolf under the direction of Mr. Tony York. The band displayed their tremendous talents and creativity through their patriotic theme by proudly displaying the colors of red, white, and blue and entertaining crowds at halftime during our most important games.
As the lunch bell rings, students can be seen rushing downstairs to the cafeteria for their only free time of the day. Students use this time to socialize, catch up on schoolwork, relax, and grab a bite to eat. Between classes, students use the five-minute leeway period to engage in a quick conversation with friends. Yet on days like Crazy Hair Day, detecting these friends can sometimes be difficult. The 1991-1992 boys basketball season was a great success. The junior varsity had a record of 14 and 6, and the varsity had a record of 11 and 12, while making it to the regional semifinals. team stood extremely well this year. Varsity made it to the state finals only to lose to Williams Court. JV had a successful season with a strong record throughout the county. This year's 1991-92 Varsity Cheerleading Squad had a very exciting and busy year. This year's squad was headed up by Senior Captain Jules Somerville, Senior Co-Captain Paige Reese, and Junior Co-Captains Allison Foreman and Pally Knight. In between cheering an average of 14 games a month, the cheerleaders made buttons, candy games, and posters. They also had big sales and sold candy for the Cougar Booster Club. Under the direction of coaches Monroe and Ryan, Boston swimming and diving team swam well this year and finished fourth in the county. With eight seniors graduating, it will be a difficult it will be difficult for the swimmers next year. But as always, Falston is sure they'll do us proud once again. This year's wrestling team had a very successful season. The captain was Derek Swords. Five men were sent to the state tournament. The most that has ever gone in Falston history. February 12, 1992, Senior Recognition Day took place. It was a day for all seniors to really rule the school. On this day, seniors were offset by their specially designed Class of 92 t-shirts. Seniors could also view fellow seniors' baby pictures that were mounted on paper graduation hats and posted on the library windows. Later in the day, seniors enjoyed a senior-only private lunch, where at that time, the senior superlative winners were revealed. Way to go, seniors! Smith, uh, got the longest hair. I'm Rachel Summers, and I'm the senior girl with the longest hair. 
Mike Strickland, class clown. Molly Marshall, class clown. Most, Most unforgettable. unforgettable. We're the quietest. <laughs> Biggest flirt. Next one. Get a scalpel. scalpel. This was the year of the 60s retro style. What a babe. What was hot? T-shirts, caps, bike shorts, and leisure suits. Not. And serious footage including boots, socks, sandals, and platforms. <laughs> As if. Everybody was environmentally conscious. Not. Most of us recycled. Remember, we've only got one Mother Earth, and she's not recyclable. Like Major Man, serious problems like AIDS and homeless got lots of attention when rock stars and celebrities lent their time to raise money for research and health. Really middle man, we listen to lots of music, more CDs than tape. MTV and much music dominated television's music videos. They really wail. This year, under the direction of Mr. David Graham, FHS students performed the play Our Town. Talent shown through as the cast presented the play on the nights of April 3rd and 4th at 8 p.m. Our Town was a unique play that used little to no scenery, which enabled audiences to exercise their creativity. Our Town is about small town American life. After many hours of rehearsing, the play proved to be a huge success. Um, I'm sure we're all very much indebted to you. Not at all, sir. Not at all. Now, We got the worst case of senioritis. Is that what we say? What? We're not going to remember senior week. Most likely not to remember senior week. Most spirited! Most dramatic. Thank you. Most, Most athletic. athletic. Talent Sword is the Foston High School junior class held its annual talent show. All were invited to take part, and many brave souls ventured to do so. Talents range from barbershop singers, aerobic workouts, bands, soloists, pianists, and many more.
1992 varsity track and field team, the largest in years, had successful county, regional, and state qualifiers in the middle and long distance races. The men's team finished with a record of 6-8, and eight, and the girls were county champions. The 1992 varsity baseball team enjoyed an excellent season again this year. The team finished second in the county and second in the regional finals with a 16-5 record. The team also received runner-up honors in the Mount St. Joe Meetup Tournament during the spring break. The junior varsity also enjoyed a great season winning the Mythical County Championship. The JV and varsity softball teams both displayed a great effort this season. The JV team excelled with an 11-5 record while varsity maintained a 6-11 record. The varsity team will be losing six seniors this year which will be sadly missed. Varsity lacrosse, I thought, had an excellent season. We had a lot of talent this year in the chair. We made it to the state semifinals, and it was a tough loss. We finished the season with the 11-2 record, and JV 7-3. JV girls lacrosse team had a great season winning county championships. Their final record was 10 and 0. The varsity girls lacrosse team had an excellent season capturing the fifth consecutive county championship and second regional championship. Seated sixth in the whole state, the team proved to have excellent skills and speed. We are most intelligent. <laughs> most dependable. Most, most likely, likely to succeed. succeed. Most outrageous. Ready? I'm not sure. <laughs> most musical. <laughs> Contributed most to the class. So it begins. We reach for the stars. Lift up your voice. Freedom is ours. The spirit's alive. Jules Somerville, Senior Editor-in-Chief, Heather Schaefer, Senior Co-Editor-in-Chief, and Natalie Pearson, Junior Assistant Co-Editor, along with the section editors and staff, worked many long hours after school and on weekends to complete the 1992 Catamount and Video Yearbook.
2.15, students can be seen rushing down the corridors and out the doors. Many students ride a bus home, but those competitively selected juniors and seniors who can grab hold of the highly sacred parking permit can enjoy the freedom of driving a car to school. On April 30th, the annual Falston High School Spring Concert was held. This year's concert was dedicated to the Tony York Memorial Scholarship Fund, for all the music students at Falston had been very close to Mr. York. The evening opened with the women's choir and the concert choir followed. The gentlemen and concert choir then did a rendition of Nothing Like a Dame from South Pacific. Following the concert choir was the high school orchestra. The band then closed the evening on a good note. Most Most accident accident prone. Prone. Most likely a shock of class. Best, Best dress. dress. Most artistic. Yeah, the most artistic. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna hurt no boy. No turn. Okay, I'm Jen again, and this is my first year at Boston, and it was pretty cool. I like the school. What's your goal for your junior year? To win the spear stick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you enjoy most about your freshman year? Uh, JV football, which I played, and we had a really good record. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jewel, Gina, Paige, Laura, Nolan, Janine, Tanya, Shannon, Kara, Keith, Nicole, Jessica, Nicole, Kristen. Alicia, Heather, Paige, we have five days left. How many days, Paige? Five, four, three, two, one. See ya, white wanna be ya. <laughs> Hi, as you know, I was the GAR of 1990, and now, I'd like to introduce the 1992 Gars. <laughs> you thought it was me all the time. And you know what? You might just have been right. But remember this. Boy, did I have a good time hugging all those girls. Especially the cheerleaders. All right. So some of you have figured us out. What about our junior year? So then again, we got gotcha. <laughs> You thought you were bad, but you was really had. Cause while you're looking for a date, you didn't know it was Nate. Because by far, I was really God. Class of 1992, Nate Banks, the man of the 90s. See ya, peace. <laughs> gotcha, and thanks. <laughs>
tell us what's hot for the summer. The Pepsi Chill Out. <laughs> Volleyball. Tans and bright colored bikinis. Parties. At, at the, the beach. <laughs> sip and say. Sip and speak. At the beach. Summer school. I, I don't think, think so. <laughs> On the evening of May 23, 1992, the senior prom was held at Martin's Utahwood. Seniors danced away the magical night to the sounds of the slip. The theme song for the evening was It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday by the group Boys to Men, and guests at the prom received commemorative picture frames to hold their prom pictures in. It was a wondrous night that will always be remembered. From the Video Yearbook News Desk, a look at the top events of 91-92. The collapse of the Soviet Union dominated world events in the autumn of 1991. Communist hardliners led the ouster of Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev and ushered in Boris Yeltsin. Magic Johnson, the Los Angeles Lakers basketball star and NBA most valuable player, shocked the world with an announcement that he was carrying the AIDS virus. I'm a missed plane, and uh, I will now become a, a spokesman for the... HIV virus. Democrats and Republicans were jostling for their party's presidential nominations as states held primary elections. In sports, a great World Series, the Minnesota Twins taking the Atlanta Braves to win baseball's fall classic. 
The Washington Redskins capped a championship season with a victory over the Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl 26. The Duke Blue Devils made it two in a row in college basketball, defeating Michigan in the NCAA Finals. In entertainment, the major networks continue to dominate ratings with shows such as The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, A Different World, and Northern Exposure. The Fox television network made new inroads into the teen market with Beverly Hills 90210, In Living Color, and Married with Children. On the silver screen, Terminator 2 and Wayne's World scored big. Emerging music trends in 91-92 included Boys to Men, Brian Adams, Guns N' Roses, Marky Mark, and Garth Brooks. And that covers 91-92. Now a word from your school. On the evening of June 3rd, 1992, Boston High School seniors took the final step of their 12 years of schooling and walked across the stage to receive their diplomas. The speaker was Kevin Coward, who inspired the class with words of praise and encouragement. For many, graduating meant pursuing higher educations in college, and to others, it meant entering the competitive job market.
was on every graduate's mind after graduation and they did just that to celebrate and what better way to show their excitement than with Boston High School's very first chemical free graduation cruise seniors danced and partied through the night for this was the final time that the whole class of 92 would be all together at the end of the evening seniors said their final farewells to one another and cherished memories were created that would last a lifetime The world's largest producer of video yearbooks proudly announces the video yearbook album for high schools, colleges, and universities. The book. The movie. The best way to remember the best times of your life. 